Portugal forward Cristiano Ronaldo is going to leave Manchester United with immediate effect. That's the contract ripped up. That's the saga done. What's his legacy for Manchester United? Has it been damaged at all? United fans love to hear from you this morning. There's uh, also some big news about your club being up for sale. So, um, yeah, loads to talk about with Manchester United fans this morning. Um, it, to sit that decision to rip up the contract, of course, for Cristiano Ronaldo it follows that controversial interview that he's done with Piers Morgan on Talk TV, where he criticised the club. He said he had no respect for manager Eric Ten Hag. Do you think he regrets it, Andros? I don't think he will. Um, he's obviously very self-centered and that's n no disrespect to him he's obviously one that's of the best makes him good isn't it yeah exactly <laughs> you have to be to be elite so i don't think he does regret it i think it came from the right place but obviously it hasn't been received that way has it mm. and maybe it's what he wanted gabby maybe he actually was like look i'm gonna i know i want to go and i'm probably gonna go so let me do this interview on my way out yeah he probably thought to himself i don't want to play another six months as a sub you know all his career he's been a starter and now he doesn't want to come on for five minutes like against Spurs when he went down the tunnel. He was like, no, I'm, if you're going to give me some time, give me a decent amount of time. So he's got the outcome he wanted. But I think sometimes when you do do interviews, maybe when you're a bit too honest, you say the wrong things. And maybe he might regret some of the things he says. But for me, I don't think his legacy will be ruined. Okay. I, I think it's a shame as well because for both parties, they should have just separated in the summer. He yeah. come back yeah. he rejected City he'd come back he got 18 odd goals his legend grew if he'd left in the summer it would have been perfect for all parties but finishes their top scorer that year exactly. he did everything that he could do at 37 do. yeah and, and you're right fans of United but also just football fans in general would have gone yeah well he's, he did what he needed to do and that's the best he could do <sighs> like you said it's difficult nobody wants a, p a potential problem mm. and not many of the top clubs need a number nine at the minute the only team I look at who's a massive club, is Bayern Munich, but they've already ruled themselves out. So I think it's a difficult one. I don't see where he can go. I think it's the wages as well. You know, he's going to want top wages and he's not going to accept being a substitute. So these top clubs have got their strikers, like he says, available. He's not going to want to go and do the same thing that he would have been doing at Manchester United. He probably wants now for his last two, three years to be a starter somewhere. Does he go to Sporting Lisbon and accept normal money mm. for, a, for a footballer I, I don't think he should ever Ronaldo and Messi should never be substitutes mm. they're too great in the game to ever be sitting on the, on the bench but what happens if they've, they've lost a little bit of that pace and, and they can't actually they, they're not the best player in the team anymore but they still want to be in that team because they can still offer something off the bench well if you, you look at Ronaldo's situation like I said before the manager would have known that he wasn't part of his plans moving forward so rather than have one of the greatest players that ever laced up a boot on the bench, let him go in the summer. Mutually agree. Everyone's happy. The fans still love Ronaldo and he's still this this icon. Mm. But, do you, but do you reckon it's the manager might have wanted that, but the club would have said, no, we want Ronaldo. You know what they're going to they're gonna achieve from him being there? The shirt sales. Mm, possibly, Maybe yeah. it was like, no, we want him for another year, even though you're not going to play him. And then look what's happened now. Was there, was there sympathy for, for him? I mean, it, when you heard that interview, there were parts in that interview that I found difficult to listen to parts about when when we we heard about him losing a child obviously which is you you must have empathy for a situation like that um but do, in terms of the way that he may have been treated by the club did you sit there as a, a footballer and go you know what I've been in situations where it's not as easy as it seems it's never as easy as it seems but on in normal circumstances I would agree with the club I'd be like you're paid x amount not to play to be available yeah if if and when the, the club needs you but again I say again Cristiano Ronaldo is a special case so I believe that he always has to play if he's fit um, so I, I, I understand his problem I understand why he's done the premeditated interview and why he's frustrated Do superstars genuinely have to be treated differently Gabby? Is that what you demanded? I think um, no I think <laughs> differently in a certain way but I feel that if the club and the players are doing very well how can you say that because he's Ronaldo, he has to play. You know, if they're playing better with Anthony, Rashford, Martial, do you know Ganacho? So if PSG were playing better without Messi, which they probably were at some stages last season under Pochettino, would you agree that Messi should have been dropped? No, because I'm a Messi. <laughs> I love Messi. I'm a Messi over Ronaldo. But no, I hear what you're saying, but I just feel Manchester United, Ronaldo's a couple of years older than Messi as well. You know, I think Messi's 35, Ronaldo's 37. Yeah, he's, got, he's got 18 goals last season. Messi... I don't know his mm. official figures, but he didn't score anywhere near that amount. Yeah, but then I look at 
when he played against a few games this season, especially against Aston Villa as well, Tyro Mings had him in his pocket. So we're going to do keep playing him when there's younger players that can do better. 